Welcome to the captivating world of species. In biology, a species is defined as a group of organisms that share similar genetic and physical traits and have the ability to interbreed and produce fertile offspring. It is the fundamental unit of classification in the biological hierarchy. One key aspect of the definition of species is reproductive isolation. This means that members of the same species can mate and produce viable offspring, while individuals from different species cannot produce fertile offspring due to genetic, anatomical, or behavioral barriers. One relevant example of reproductive isolation is observed in the case of two closely related bird species, the eastern and western meadowlarks, Sternella magna and Sternella neglecta, respectively. Despite having overlapping geographical ranges, these two species do not interbreed and are reproductively isolated due to differences in their mating behaviors and songs. Male meadowlarks use their unique songs to attract mates, and each species has distinct songs that are preferred by their own females. The songs serve as a reproductive barrier, as females of each species are more likely to respond and mate with males that sing their species-specific song. This behavioral isolation prevents gene flow between eastern and western meadowlarks, contributing to the maintenance of distinct species. Species often share common physical characteristics, such as body structure, coloration, and overall appearance. These similarities are a result of shared genetic traits and are useful for identification and classification purposes. Members of the same species possess a high degree of genetic compatibility. They share a large portion of their DNA, which allows for successful reproduction and the transmission of genetic information from one generation to the next. Each species plays a unique role within its ecosystem, known as its ecological niche. These roles can include being a predator, a prey, a decomposer, or a mutualistic partner, among others. There are different types of species that are recognized in biology. Biological species concept defines a species based on the ability to interbreed and produce fertile. One example of a biological species is the lion or panthera leo. Lions exhibit reproductive isolation from other closely related species, such as tigers and leopards, as they do not naturally interbreed and produce fertile offspring. This reproductive barrier, along with their shared evolutionary history and genetic distinctiveness, classifies lions as a distinct biological species. Morphological species concept focuses on the physical characteristics of organisms to classify them into distinct species. One relevant example of a morphological species is the Galapagos finches, genus Geospiza. These finches inhabit the Galapagos Islands and are known for their remarkable variation in beak size and shape. Each species of Galapagos finch has a distinct beak morphology that is specialized for a specific diet. For instance, the large ground finch Geospiza magnirostris has a robust seed-crushing beak while the small tree finch Geospiza parvula has a slender, insect-probing beak. The morphological differences in their beaks reflect adaptations to different ecological niches and food sources, illustrating how variations in physical traits can contribute to the classification of species based on morphological characteristics. The phylogenetic species concept uses evolutionary relationships and genetic information to determine species boundaries. An example of a phylogenetic species also is Darwin's finches genus Geospizinae, found in the Galapagos Islands. These finches exhibit a remarkable adaptive radiation, with each species occupying a distinct ecological niche and displaying unique beak shapes and feeding behaviors. Through the analysis of DNA sequences and morphological characteristics, Scientists have reconstructed the phylogenetic relationships among these finches, revealing their common ancestry and the evolutionary diversification that occurred over time. This phylogenetic approach has helped identify and define different species within the group. We hope this additional information expands your knowledge on the topic of species. Thank you for joining us in this video. See you in the next video.